I buy all my toys, figures, and collectibles at Big Bad Toy Store, and you can too. They ship worldwide, and you don't pay for it until it arrives in their store. Hey, what's up, sir? You're here. Check us out. I've got a lot of stuff that's been going on in my life lately, so I haven't had a chance really to make the videos that I planned on. But it doesn't stop the madness from coming in, so I'm just going to give you a real quick rundown of the things that I've had coming in. Let's go with some of the ones that are already um, open, but not really open. So I've got these two... These are made by Flirty Girl, and this is going to be the Daphne and the Velma from Scooby-Doo. And so I'm going to take a couple of Fison figures and set these girls up. Got that coming. Since I own the full size, this is going to be my 2010 Chevrolet Camaro Bumblebee. I haven't opened this up yet, so I'm going to do a review on this get this going. This is the uh, Masterpiece series, the movie Masterpiece series. MPM3, I believe is what they call this. Ten-year Camaro Bumblebee Transformer. I bought these two Hulks. So I have the Hot Toys 1-6 scale Hulk. And I've not opened these yet, so I don't know exactly what quality they're in. In that regards, you may already be familiar with them. Um, but one I think is smaller than the 1-6 scale Hot Toys Hulk, and the other one I think is a little bit larger than the 1-6 scale Hot Toys Hulk. The photographs I've seen of them, they appear to be pretty good quality. I don't know when I open them. Again, I haven't opened these up yet, so I don't know exactly what they look like. This is how they came to me from the stores. So I've got these to open up. See, this is, says it's made by, um, oh, who's to say this is made by? I don't see a name on here of who this is made by. There's the bottom of it right there. So, That's who makes this one. It's a smaller one than the one sixth. And this one. Pretty much the same thing. I don't, uh, I don't see what it says there, but there you go. That's this one. So I'll get to those. I have the Iron Man Mark 41 Retro Armor. So this is the bones, the red and gold bones that I'll be going through. Doing an unboxing on that. shades as well that I'll be going through. I haven't opened this one up yet. I have now I bought these first off I bought this King Arts One Night Scale Ant-Man because Ant-Man in my opinion He's really a multi-scale figure. So when you get him shrinking, having a one-ninth scale, kind of adds to the realism of that. I have a one-twelfth scale Ant-Man. I have, of course, the many ones that um, Hot Toys gives you whenever you buy some of the things. And then, of course, I have the one-sixth scale Ant-Man. This is from the Ant-Man movie. So this is the King Arts one ninth scale Ant-Man and I'll be doing an unboxing on that. I haven't opened it up yet. So I'll be getting that to you. I think it's going to look really cool posed with the one sixth and the one twelfth and the little miniature ones. So 
Look forward to that. And its counterpart that I purchased, as I was in total anticipation of Hot Toys coming through on this, they gave a sneak peek of them producing this figure. And that's as far as it went. And it wouldn't be the first time that Hot Toys has done a sneak peek of a figure and, and then never came through with it. For instance, Rhino from Spider-Man a few years back. Never came to fruition. But sometimes it surprises us, like the Mark III Stealth that came out. So every superhero needs a anti-hero. Otherwise, what's the point in a superhero? So I bought the One Night Scale Yellow Jacket. And I'm pretty excited about this. And if nothing else, I'll be able to pose those two together. I bet he's going to look cool. So we'll see how that turns out. I also have some boxes here I have not even opened yet. So I know what's in these, I just don't know what's in them. You know what I mean? I mean, I know what I ordered, bought, and paid for, but I don't know what is in which box. This is well. This is the Hot Toys R2-D2. So I'll be able to have a comparison to Sideshow ones. I own all of the Sideshow versions of the Astromex they've made. The R2-D2s, the R5-D4s, the BB-8. I've got the BB-9 coming in. i got the other BB-8 coming in. So this will be interesting to see how Hot Toys has made this. So I'll be doing a comparison and unboxing and review of that figure. I still have a uh, you know, I've been promising you this Doctor Strange I've been working on. You know, the problem with my Doctor Strange was I had a problem with his hand positions. It didn't give us the hands to be able to do, to wear the, the rings, to be able to do the, uh, you know, the position that he does. They gave us this on the, on the wrong hand. You can't put the rings on the left hand the way that they are. So I've been working on a hand that I custom made for him to be able to do that. The other thing I noticed about the Doctor Strange is they didn't give us both of his rings. One is his ring. The other is not his ring. And I don't know if anybody has pointed that out yet. They gave us two rings. Only one of them is his. The other one is not his. Let's see what we have here. Ah, okay. Netflix is Daredevil. Hot Toys Netflix is Daredevil. I'll do a video review on this figure. I'm excited about this guy. I like the uh, series. Marvel Man, they are just kicking some serious tail. I don't know what else to say in that regard.
This came actually sooner than anticipated. I had a feeling it probably would. This is the Spider-Man Homecoming Iron Man Mark 47 diecast figure right there. And it's really a Mark 46, only not. It has the open helmet in it, uh, you know, to show Peter Parker that Tony wasn't even in it. So I'm really stoked about this to add to my collection. But, needless to say, one I am completely the absolute most stoked on is this figure right here that has been paid for for practically two years and it's finally got to me. Sideshow is such a tease. They said, oh yeah, um, you know, you don't get it right now. Everyone else is getting theirs and I'm having to wait and wait and wait as they sat on my money, make money off of my money. Paid for something, pushed back a dozen times, it seems. I know y'all know what this is. This is a beast. My goodness. And what's so funny is the new Infinity Wars Trader. Of course, they referenced it in Spider-Man Homecoming. There's a new Hulkbuster coming out. So, there you go. There's the original packaging oven. I will do an unboxing and review of this. So, thanks for checking in with me. If I check in with you, show you what I got going on. And I'll get that Dr. Strange to you. Like I said, I'm working on his hands so that his rings will fit on the right hand for him to be able to perform. Let's see, you know, it goes on this hand. So he can do his little spells. This hand, right? Let me think. Yeah, they gave you the wrong hand, so I've got it on the other hand. So I've been customizing a hand, and I'll show you all that. So thanks for checking in with me. Follow me on Facebook, Emerald. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I don't post there much. Um, I don't post much on Facebook either. But definitely follow me here on YouTube. Subscribe to my channel, share my videos, see more videos on the other side. Share these with your friend, with your friends. And thanks for watching, everyone. <laughs> really good seeing you. And if you like this format of where I'm just showing you what i got going on while I'm going on, I'll do this again. And if there's one you want me to do, like, sooner than later, leave in the comments below. Tell me what it is that you want me to get to first out of all of these that I just showed you. Thanks again for watching, everyone. See you in the next video. Happy collecting.